Okay, so how do we transfer attributes and parameters between elements? So many of you, I'm sure, have used the toolbar buttons within RTCAD. And those toolbar buttons are my uh, eyedropper and my syringe. The eyedropper will grab the elements or the attributes of elements, and the syringe will transfer those attributes to another element. You can also use a uh, shortcut command to pick up the parameters, which is Command C or Control C, depending on your earlier Mac or Windows. And if you want to eject command or uh, eject it, that would be a command with Control C uh, to inject those default parameters. You can also do it by going to your Edit menu, Element Settings, and pick up or inject parameters from here as well. So how does it work? So first off, if I have a element such as you see here, uh, that's a, 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 a bay window, for example, and let's say I want to pick up those parameters. So I would grab my eyedropper, I would drag it over the uh, element edge, uh, hold down my control C, the eyedropper will appear, I drag my, drag my eyedropper over, it'll highlight, I click, it's now grabbed the, the attributes of those elements, and I can start using uh, those attributes. If I want to transfer it, I simply take those attributes, and I'll drag my cursor over to the edge of a, another window, and I hold my uh, command uh, option C down, and now I'm transferring, or just, or just click on the syringe um, here. And so here I just press Control Alt, um, or Alt Command on the Mac, and I simply drag my syringe over, it'll highlight again, and I transfer those parameters into it. Now you can see that it has transferred and changed that element now from what was a window, a uh, regular uh, rectangular window to a bay window. Now, Graphsoft recently in the last couple versions also implemented the ability for us now to control which parameters we transfer. And this has actually become really powerful um, for you because uh, it, it allows you now to transfer only the attributes that you want between elements. So for example, where that was really helps a lot is uh, let's say that you have a, a door or a window and you wanna transfer the attributes from one window to another, but you don't wanna transfer the size. So in other words, you wanna transfer the attributes of how the window looks and the, you know, and its materials, its graphics, its 2D, but not its size. So in this case, I can go and I can actually turn off or select a preset here uh, of those specific parameters that I want or don't want. So the way you do that is that when you go to drag your cursor over and you go to transfer, so you're selecting the you know, um, syringe option, right? Right before you do that, you'll see a little pop-up that comes up and you can click like default, for example, or you can go without size and elevation as one preset option, for example. And then what it does is it will transfer that information to, you know, the attributes to this element. But rather than, as we saw before, rather than being an identical one, instead it's going to be one that's similar, but it's not going to transfer the size or the elevation. So in this case, it kept, keeps this window, right, at, at the same lower elevation, and it keeps the window width for this new uh, or for the, the, the attributes. Otherwise, it's, it's making, you know, changing everything else. But this becomes really helpful for a lot of various reasons that you can, you can imagine. Um, to, you can also control the element settings in terms of setting them up. So if you have specific settings that you'd like to use um, to, for transfer purposes, uh, to do that, you go to your uh, edit menu, Element settings and element transfer settings. You can open these settings up and you'll see to the left here are presets that are set for various <clears throat> types of operations that are fairly typical, but you can add your own and of course edit this. And then to the right here is basically um, the attributes in the project that we have the ability to transfer. Any attribute as a check means that will currently be transferred based upon whichever of these transfer options that you've selected. Uh, you can also access those element transfer settings uh, in the favorites palette by going to the little sprocket in the upper right and going down to element transfer settings. 
Uh, you can also do it when you're in the, the favorites um, uh, apply button when you're trying to transfer, excuse me, the, the apply button here as you've opened up a tool, uh, if you've opened up the settings here, and if you go down to the bottom of that, you can open the element transfer settings there. And also when you're injecting or transferring those parameters from one element to another, and you select it to do that, if you go down to the bottom, you can open up the element transfer settings, and on an instance by instance basis, you can also change those settings. So as I mentioned, what it, you know, you can also not only transfer the settings, but you can also control how you view the information here. So if you are going through the process of setting up your own transfer settings uh, options here, then you can view the um, attributes either by uh, tool, by this option right here, or by setting, okay? And then it will change what you view here in terms of this list. And then it'll show here optional settings to include. And then of course, what it means here is that it is going to exclude uh, size and height and keep everything else or vice versa. You can also import and export your um, transfer settings. So for example, let's say that you are working on a project, maybe someone has gone and updated your template file so that you have a new uh, transfer setting option or vice versa, you've created a project, you want to now update your, your um, template file. <clears throat> so if you do that, you can use the two buttons down below here. This will import the one at the bottom left, import um, option sets for transfer settings. This will export to another project or a template file, for example. And that allows you then to, to be able to do that. Also note, there's always a default, okay? So whenever you're transferring, you know, going to transfer attributes, it will uh, transfer based upon wherever the default is. So for example, if you see a little star with a checkbox here, that means that currently it's set to transfer all settings as the default. And then of course, if I were to go to apply settings, I would see a little star here with a checkbox. That means again, that's what it's set to according to the default. That is our typical